Today I'm going to answer the question, how do I control my psychic abilities? Medium Melinda Mae Miller answering your questions on mediumship and mediumship development. Subscribe to my channel right now and don't forget to click the bell so you never miss a video. Some of us are born with naturally more developed psychic abilities than other people. Every human on the planet has the capacity to develop their psychic abilities. It's just like a kid who's a natural born athlete. Some kids can hit the ball as soon as you put a bat in his hand. The kid next door has to be taught how to hit the ball. But if they both work with a coach, they can both grow up to be professional ball players. Some of us are born with psychic abilities that are just more highly developed than others. I was one of those people. I spent decades walking around pretending that I didn't see and hear the things that I see and hear, so I completely understand what this question is about. The first step in learning to control your psychic abilities is to meditate. You must meditate. When we learn how to control the mind, we learn how to quiet the mind. When the mind is quiet, it is very, very easy to separate out our own thoughts from, from our psychic senses. The second thing I believe you must do is find a good tutor, a good instructor. Start taking classes from people who know how to control their psychic senses. Learn. It's a learned skill, just like playing baseball. I didn't used to have any control over them. I would see people everywhere. I would hear things. I, if I went to a party, there was like two parties going on for me. Really, true story. So I, I get this, but it's not like that now. You really can't make them go away, but what you can do is learn to turn them up and down. I don't walk around just seeing and hearing stuff randomly anymore. I'll get little little pieces of it, but I keep my, my power knob turned quite low. Then when it's time for me to work and I sit with the client, knob goes to 11, everything comes in. But that was a learned skill. It took me years to learn how to do that and, and it wasn't difficult, it's just learning the techniques and practicing them. Learning the techniques, putting them into, into practice. And one of the things you will find is that as you gain control, let's say that you are naturally very highly clairvoyant and you begin to get control of it through meditation and, and practice and exercises, you will find that your other senses then will start popping up and become stronger. You now have control of the one that is strongest. That makes room for the other ones to step up. You're not totally focused on, on, on the clairvoyance. The third thing you can do to, to learn to control your psychic senses is practice. If you walk into a room and you are hearing voices, that is your clairaudience kicks in, stop listen to what they're saying in your mind picture a volume knob and turn down the volume if it doesn't work don't give up do it again next time if it doesn't work the second time don't give up do it again the third time what you're doing is you are telling your your mind that this is not the time and that is where the meditation comes in because meditation is about learning how to control the mind when we learn how to control the mind we learn how to quiet the mind. Once we can separate our thoughts from the psychic senses, it's very easy to say, I need you to be quiet right now because I'm over here having a good time. It is a process. It's generally not a fast process, but it's not a difficult process either. It's a, it's a, a pattern of growth and development. I'm gonna give you the three things you need to do to start controlling your psychic abilities right now. Number one, meditate. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Number two, find a good instructor or tutor. Find some classes and start working with people who know more than you do. Number three, practice. And I'm gonna throw a fourth one in there, meditate. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Meditate, meditate, meditate. I cannot stress enough the importance of meditation in developing your psychic abilities and your mediumship abilities. It is the number one thing you need to do and it is the number one thing that people put off. It will change your life. If you enjoyed this video, you want more, make sure you poke my face over there in the sunshine.